Scott with the Service Dog Vlog, and today I'm going to probably do one of my most favorite videos ever. I love watching Service Dog Gear Hauls, or Service Dog Gear, period. Um, today I'm going to do a Service Dog Gear video, and I don't have a lot of gear as Cowboy is still young and we're still early in training as a Service Dog, but what I do have, I have to admit, they're all some of the best products I have found. Um, I'm going to start off with my vest. I found this on Amazon, and it was super cheap, and it does its job phenomenal. Um, it has room for smaller patches here, but it doesn't have a lot of room. That's my only complaint about that. Um, I will link this vest down below if you would like be interested in this vest. I think it comes in a handful of different colors also. Also comes with the service dog patch. Then it has room to add in training or whatever other kind of patch you want above it. And I love this because it fits him nicely. He has room to grow. And it also has a piece that I don't have on it right now that goes from here to here for its legs. He's still young. It's still a little chunky for him. But we will add it one day when he gets a little bit bigger. Hopefully we'll have a new vest here soon. So if you have vest recommendations, please comment where you got your vest down below. Um, my next thing that I love to take with me everywhere I go is this collapsible bowl. And this allows Cowboy to have water wherever he goes. And it's so light that I normally just hook it on to his vest. And I got this at Tractor Supply here in Colorado. And I got this one and then I got a green one. And I use the green one for food, and I throw that one just in my purse because it's so light, again, that you don't notice it's there. Also, my next purchase was some doggy boots. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, or a couple videos ago, um, we're headed off to Texas, and it is hot there compared to Colorado, and I don't want his paws to hurt or burn. So I got these boots, and I got these off Craigslist, but I will find the link of the actual company and link them below. And these are a cheaper version of rough wear. I can't afford rough wear. I will hopefully have a pair soon, but until then I have these. And these are called Good to Go Explore and Protect Extreme Weather Boots. And they're okay. My only complaint is, is I cannot keep them on Cowboy's feet for more than 30 minutes. I think that's more my dog than it is the boot, but it still frustrates me. Um, it has two pieces of Velcro, so you can tighten them up in two places. It also has a tongue, so that you can easily put your dog's foot in, and that's helpful. And I hope that we can actually get these to stay on Cowboy longer than 30 minutes in Texas. Um, let me know down below if you have a trick to keeping your dog's boots on because I need one at this point or a miracle. One of the two. My next purchase was a, um, hands-free leash. I got these from Louie and Lucy on Etsy and this has changed working with a service dog in public. You have this much um, room for your dog if you have it wrap around you. And this gets down to my short dog, which I love. She takes your measurements and then she also has you pick out two colors. And mine's really filthy so it looks gray at this point, but it's turquoise and gray. She also made me a collar for Cowboy, which is still too big. And she also makes pulls. And she makes amazing work and she does it in a timely fashion. I love this because it's hands-free. It can wrap around the way I just had it. It can wrap around your waist or you can just have it as a handle. It's seven foot long, so there's a lot you can still do with it. Um, her shop will also be linked down below. I highly recommend going in and checking her out because she is amazing. She has changed taking my dog out in public for sure. Also, I just ordered this choke, um, black leather choke collar, and I give you props if you can walk your dog nicely 
on a flat collar. At this point, he is still only five months old, so he still pulls a little. So we got this, and he has listened so much better. Um, we're hoping to go back to the flat collar here soon, but we have now said that this is his working collar. Um, I will link the Etsy shop down below that has this because I can't remember the name right off the bat. But she got it to me in five days. She custom made it. She added the color bling I wanted. If you don't want bling, she'll do it without bling. Um, a very good purchase off Etsy. I am the Etsy freak. I buy a lot of stuff off Etsy. It's just who I am. Um, this next one is a training tool. And I don't use this very often, but I do carry it everywhere with me. This is a squeaker from an inside of a stuffed animal. And I squeak it if I can't get Cowboy's attention back to me. Most of the time I don't have to use it, but when I use it, I can get his attention pretty quickly. Go boy. And this just works if you don't have treats on you or you need his attention and treats aren't working. Um, he tore up stuffed animal. I just grabbed him out of it. But you, I believe you can also buy these at PetSmart that are haven't been put in a stuffed animal yet. Lastly, I think everybody needs a little fun on their vest. Um, some people disagree with me and I'm fine with that. But I have to add at least one fun patch to my vest. So, another SC purchase. I got this patch and it says, Hi, I'm a service dog, not a magical unicorn. And this is probably one of my favorite patches because she, she makes them so that they're funny but still gets the point across. And I'll link her shop down below also. She also has one that says, Hi, I'm a service dog, not a dragon. And you can make it different colors. And that's always fun to add a little humor to your vest because who always wants to be serious? Another one that I got from her is not all disabilities are visible, don't be a jerk. And I also like this because it has a stop sign. And normally, normally, I'm throwing that out there, um, when people see a stop sign, they kind of stop approaching you and read the patch. And even though this set doesn't say, don't pet me, it has a stop sign. Most people back away once I have a stop sign on my dog. So I like this one too. And I'll link her shop down below. Um, I got those pretty cheap for a patch. And they came in, I think, a week and a half, which wasn't too bad. She custom embroidered them for the color I wanted. Um, at this time, they're not on my vest just because they're a little big still. I'll probably end up putting them on for our trip to Texas anyway. But they're still a little big. And so that's all the gear I have for right now. We'll soon hopefully have more. Cross our fingers. Um, I am hoping to order a vest from River Dog off Facebook. She has pretty good vests and is very well known. So I'm going to order that for Cowboy when he gets a little bit older. If you see any gear that you have questions about, message me down below. Or if you have gear that you think I need to... See, I would love to see it. I would love to get some more ideas for gear because I think I have more gear than anything else. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you next week on Tuesday. Bye!